Hello everybody and welcome to the first video of the new indie game development log series. In this one I'll be showing you what I've been working on for up till a month ago because for the last month I've been extremely busy with college work and some other things. So from now on I should be yeah, I should be able to upload a video every week or so and I'll also continue my basic tutorial series and with that out of the way no let's i'm also gonna be recording um this video live so you might be able to hear my keyboard but if you don't like this type of recording you can tell me in the comments below and i'll just revert to my old method so with that out of the way let me just show you what i've been working on so the first thing i've been working on is modeling the main character and this is basically just a rough prototype of the final uh, final shape of our character. So this will be used throughout the development process and it will be probably changed at the end I've also been creating the animations for it such as jumping running and walking and I've also reworked the The actual movement system in the engine so now that the player will be turning smoothly when trying to rotate rapidly So as you can see there is no there's no there's no weird movements when turning so another thing i've been working on is um on some conservation of linear momentum so if i try to run in one direction and when i try to change the direction the player has to stop it first and then i can actually run in the other direction and also another thing i've been working on is some jumping animations and also the landing animation and this animation is dependent on the actual player um, vertical force so if I jump from let's say a bit of a from a bit of a higher up ob um, object you can see the the dampen animation will be a bit deeper so but if I try to jump from let's say a standing pose the animation will be a bit shallower and if I try to jump just from ledge to ledge you can see almost no vertical movement. The next thing I've also worked on is uh, some transitioning between walking and running animation. So you'll be able to see that the player actually speeds up from normal walking and then into a running, uh, full running uh, animation. Okay, so the next thing I've also been working on is um, some ledge climbing. For those of you who follow me on Twitter, I've already done this sort of with the old model, uh, uh, with our main, uh, with my old main model. So if I try to do this right now, you'll see that the hands are almost aligned with the ledge, and I can just shimmy along all of the potential ledges. And as you can see, I can go um, around the uh, round corners and everything, and I can also climb the ledge. But the animation for that is still not that perfect, I guess. Okay, so another thing I've been working on is uh, on some graphical interface for recolor recoloring our player model. So I've just created the basic interface in my. Uh, GUI for this I can just select for example the shirt and I can just make it black for example if I use this um, this feature for actually in the game I'll I'll definitely make a more intuitive GUI than this and then I can also recolor other types of clothing for example I can recolor the shoes and uh, gloves and I'm just gonna make them white and then I'm just gonna go and paint skirt sides to white and I'm just gonna make skirt let's say red no let's let's make it black I'll make the rims red and I'll also make the belt red so now that we have a nice character color and I'll just make the hair let's say blue and there we go, this should do. Okay, so the next thing I've been also working on is this dynamic grass. You might have already noticed it. And 
I just did this for my own personal amusement mostly, I don't know if I'll use it in the final game, but it looks quite nice like this in my opinion. It also works with other um, dynamic objects in the scene, for example these cubes, and I can also just throw them around and the grass should be deforming with the movement of the objects. Okay, so the next thing I've been working on is also the is also some camera features and as you can see the camera will zoom out smoothly now when it's being um, restricted by some obstacle that it's in the view's way. Okay, so because we're I'm gonna be working on a puzzle platformer sort of game, I had to make the movement quite intuitive and responsive, so I think I've sort of achieved that with this and also I can just use the ledge grabbing feature for example and just grab onto this obstacle and then I can climb it up. So another thing that I've added is some friction dependent um, or surface dependent movement and in this example I have uh, some icy surface here and as you can see I have a really hard time changing direction of the player's movement. So this is used to simulate the the surfaces with lower friction. Okay, so this is pretty much it as I as far as I can tell. And I've I've made some other changes to the engine but nothing that noticeable not nothing that notable uh, for this video, but I think this is pretty much it. So if you like the video, like it, and if you want to see more videos in this indie development log series, you can subscribe to my channel, I'll be uploading more of this in the future. So anyways, thanks for watching, and yeah, I will see you next time, bye!